Alright, so maybe that wasn't so cool. So we still have this guy here. We gotta figure out what color we're gonna paint him. <clears throat> what color? Alright. I am not messing this guy up, I'm keeping him. But that small wheelbase, I tell you what. <clears throat> yeah. Burp. I doubt it. It'd be like <laughs> so here's this. I got a nice primer base coat. Looking really good. Cephala, Cephala, C E P A L A is not answered what numbers he wants. So now the numbers are up for grabs. And also the color, however, I think, what was the second color? Light blue was the first one. What was the second color? Let me go back and check. Be right back. Alright, so I went back to the video. Second color was Ferrari red. And then number three was Lively Green. I wanted Sapphire Metal Flake Blue, but that was... That's my favorite. Kind of. Uh, but I don't have that. Let me let me uh, pause it right here and show you why I'm not going to go with Fer... What the hell is that mark? Oh. There's a piece of red tape on there. Anyways, I'm not going with Ferrari Red. I'll show you why. Stand by one minute. Alright, here's, here's why. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I have no idea what a Ferrari sounds like. I already got a Ferrari Red. <laughs> Check this out, buddies. Now, I got another surprise for you after this. This is drying overnight. I don't want to rush it. It is dry, but we're going to make sure it's cured overnight. And I've got a... This is, by the way, this is crimson red. Crimson. I got a bright red transparent I'm going to try to put over it and let's see what happens. I screw it up, I'll just put it in the goop. Take all that off. Alright, so this guy. A lively green is what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go, uh, that's what, who, who's that? Cut Rocker. Cut Rock R. <clears throat> okay. Also, if you've seen my um, entry for um, Gravity Throttle Racing, I'm making another Johnny Smoke. So this is Johnny Smoke 2. Bigger wheel wells. Uh, I got a better suspension and a tighter body so the wheels don't go this way, this way so much. Because you lose that once you cut out well, this one, no comparison. On the body, once you cut it out, the, the damn wheels go left to right, and it makes it all wonky down the damn track. So, uh, on the body, the interior, I put some shims. Just like on the Ferrari. Where's the Ferrari? On the body of the Ferrari, not the body, the uh, interior, the, the chassis had those tabs on there to keep the wheels from going out and in out and in out and in yeah so somehow I fouled those off thinking it was important well I was wrong 
So my one millimeter plastic sticks, I glued it on there. I'll, I'll show you that later, but anyways, I start rambling. This is going to be a lively green. It's going to be a pearlized bright green, <clears throat> which goes with the original, which is the most popular, but however, it's not a rust bucket. So, cut rocker. We're going to go with that one. And, uh, Sean, we already have Ferrari red. But you know what? I got a little bit left. Where's my bottle? I got a little bit left. Damn it. You got to get rid of it or it's going to dry up and get hard. But it's really not enough to do a whole truck. So thank you two guys. You've both been so helpful. And the other guy today that I don't even know his name. That told me uh, for the Ferrari. Grind those tabs off. And then after you guys told me that I figured out. Yeah, the new tires got a little tab built into them. I didn't know that. Damn it. I was a nerd growing up. So, this is... Sean, Sean really. This is going to be my favorite car. I'm, I'm not even going to race it. I just want it to look cool. I'm going to put it in the THE car case. If you watch any of my other videos, you know what the THE car case is, but I don't have an original Hot Wheels case to put it in. But I'm going to show you the, the car case in a, right now. So uh, we're going to cut. Cut. Next. So if you didn't know, Mattel bought Matchbox. Matchbox used to be owned by Mattel. And some of the cars I'll never race is this Lamborghini Countach. But, see, you got the card case. Uh, Sean, you know, Cut Rocker and the rest of you guys, I know you know what these are. But here's the card case. Now, I don't have one for the Ferrari. But you know what? I did make one for my brother. Custom. I made a custom uh, card. Did not have this cut out. But I made a custom card, even with the clip corners. And on the back, I left room for him to make notes and stuff. And I took a blank Hot Wheels. This. This is matchbox, I know, but I took one of these and glued it onto there. I printed his car, 69 Camaro SS, 396. Printed this all out. Glued this on, put his car in there, glued it on, and put it in the card case. And sent it to my brother, um, Denny. So that's what I'm going to do with this uh, Ferrari. I'm going to take a picture of a Ferrari 308, make a card, put the picture on there. I'll put some, like, you know, SST Diecast Racing Presents, blah, blah, blah. And then on the back, I don't know. I didn't. I, I received it as a gift. Oh, received as a gift by. And you know who. So, yeah. One of the cars I'll never race. Where'd it go? <laughs> yes. This is going to be fun. See, Matchbox goes to the left. Hot Wheels goes to the right. Like I, like, like I said, <clears throat> I got a transparent bright red to go over this. And, damn it, I always go off camera. 
pretty shiny already. That's not even a clear coat. That's just the first coat. But it's kind of light. Maybe some 2,000 or 3,000. But you know, this is metallic, so I'm not even going to try to compete with that. That's a sparkle red. But, um, I don't want to do too many coats, and I don't want to sand and lose any details, because look, look at the uh, air louvers up here. They're still very visible. You do too much paint, you're going to lose that. So, now I keep touching it. Now i got to clean it. Get the oils off there. I just got to say I'm really happy. And I got two tires. That's going to work. And they're gold. Ah, oh, damn it. They're gold rim. Let's go get those right now. And through the magic of video, I'm back. Now, this ain't even zoomed in, but we're going to move this guy out the way. Man, I'm going to love this. Thanks, Sean. Now, for you three guys to help me, I'll say the same thing. Uh, cut the tabs off. So I did. And then, I burnished it. Made it very, very shiny. Very, very smooth. Where those nubs are going to be. No, I call them nubs. Because that's what they look like. Well, they look like little titties. Here's some tires. They've got those nubs you're talking about. They're very small. The other tires I had were a lot bigger. But yeah. I'm going to show you. Check this out. Now. See, I haven't glued them in. I got to put this on the uh, axle alignment jig. This is so hard to put together. So I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm just going to put it together best I can and I'll be right back. And we're back. I may put a suspension spring in there, but look, I got the gold wheels. These are 10. I'm not happy with the sloppiness, but yeah, yeah. Magnum PI. <laughs> I don't know if he had gold rims or a 308, but he had a, didn't he have a Ferrari? Magnum PI. Something don't, is that in all the way? Something don't look right there. A lot of details. Dang it, a lot of details. No one's going to see the bottom, so I'm not going to concentrate on that. I mean, why waste your time? But these front air uh, brake, brake louver intakes, I believe that's what they are for the brakes. Everything else looks pretty cool. Dang it. If I can just get these stabilized somehow, I don't really know how to, but, you know, if I'm just going to put it in, oh shit, that don't look right. If I'm just going to put it in the car case, like my uh, Countach, then it could just sit in there. You know, even I have to glue the damn thing down. Put some screw, uh, one screw, one screw in the bottom. This still has to be painted black. I'm still going with enamel. I'm not sure why I've got black. Well, I got black. Good old testers. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Sean, you don't know how happy you made me sending out all those cars. So, um, I'm having a fun time.
and thank you guys for watching and for the suggestions because I am an amateur so I love it thanks very much have a great night